Hi guys, welcome back to another awesome VCV rack tutorial. I'm the Cliff Factor and today I want to talk about wonky beats, like wonky tonky beats. Hey, um, this is a technique I used um, on my real modular system a lot to modulate beats and Normally I used a MFB dual um, LFO that has two resets and I tried to um, do the same thing in VCV Rack but it didn't work. I don't know why. Maybe I'm too stupid. Uh, but I found another way, an easy way to do this and this is what I'm going to show you now. So um, our starting patch is a um, Autodave trigger sequencer to trigger those uh, three modules. This is a drummer from Volt, like a kick drum, a snare and a hi-hat module from, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, this Hora, Hora, or like the Spanish Hora, Chingao, I don't know. But these are two really nice modules for free and yeah, all the stuff goes here to, to the VCA, um, level controlled by a dual attenuator and yeah, let's listen to this uh, straightforward beat, okay? Okay, this is a real straightforward beat. Now, what we want to do is to um, change the timing here. It's not, not about swing, but to change the timing between all these steps. And what we'll do, we'll add here a Autodave um, 16 step sequencer. And I prepared this here. Um, here we, we put all the steps on and use this as timer or as clock for this sequencer, okay? So this is easy stuff, okay? <laughs> when we play this, nothing will happen, but these two, um, these two sequences play together, okay? Now first, let's set a reset here to get them playing together. Reset, okay, run, okay, now you see, one, they are good together, okay, now we can kick this out, we don't need it anymore, okay, and what we do now, um, with this sequencer, we will control the trigger sequencer, so, I'll show you, it's easy, we take the first row, and put it here into the clock, okay? And now we are able to uh, control the timing of every step here. So let's do some random stuff. Let's start slowly and then speed up the sequencer. Get a bit slower, slow down and speed it up again. Something like this. This is a lot of try and error. I, I won't do this in the whole video. This is like um, you have to play around with this and to fix this and it may take you um, one minute or it may take you an hour. I don't know. That That's on you. I'll only show you the technique how to do that, okay? So now let's run the same stuff, okay? Okay, you see? This is very crazy. Now let's... Okay, got it. That's it. You see, the, um, the, the sequence is not like straight one, two, three, four, like hammered in your brain. Now, now, it's, now it gets organic. And, but it's organic, but it's, uh, it's, it repeats, okay?
And this is something uh, you can play around with. Okay, you have a remarkable sequence that is always the same. If you want to go, go crazy, no problem. Um, you can take this reset stuff and set resets wherever you want. Okay, then um, you will only use a part of this, but it's um, how to explain. It, it, it's not happening like in the first part, it's happening somewhere, somewhere, all the time. Okay, let's listen to this. Got it? This is really nice. <laughs> I love this. And that's it, that's the starting point to make wonky beats, wonky tonky. So if you if you do a real nice thing with this patch or with, with this idea, hey, post it in the comments. This is really nice. I'm excited. Okay, I hope you are excited as well. And <laughs> see you next time on the next um the cliff factor shows you strange um, things yeah with modular systems like this okay see you later have fun cheers <laughs>